Welcome everyone to another Power Rangers Legacy Wars character review. Today we're reviewing, like I said in the last episode, Kimberly from the movie. She's a, I have her level 4 now. She's a rare, so compared to everyone, she's a little bit harder to get, but not too hard. And she's an attacker. So let's take a quick look at her bio. Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, used to be the Queen Bee of Angel Grove High, but is now struggling to find her identity. She is a new rebel without a cause. Edgy attitude, but is hiding a secret that makes her feel deeply vulnerable. Ooh. So, I have her level 4. And as you can see, her health is 300. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at her moves. A rapid fury. A series of rapid kicks so fast you can barely see them. Mm-hmm. Uh, charging kick. A fast-moving flying kick with a range. What people would say probably the most annoying one that they face is one. The Vortex Launch. Pink Ranger spins wildly and pulls her opponent towards them and launches them. And last but not least, the Power Kick. Powerful kick that staggers opponents. Alright. Now let's go on ahead and look at Kimberly's assist. Uh, can I upgrade her health right now? Yeah, I may as well. Alright, so her health is now 180. And her dive kick moves over projectiles, deals damage to the opponent, even at a distance. So that's what I mean by the dive kick. Alright, so let's go ahead and put her in a training. I have been using her a lot. Well, I wouldn't necessarily a lot. A fair amount, I should say. Especially during the attacker's challenge. Placing against Drakina here. So here we have the charging kick. Just charging kick, no problem. That power kick she's put in the block. Bam! Right there. Ooh, that was critical too. That was a bad move. Right there. Give it the rapid fury, just you could see every single kick. Alright, Vortex launch. Like a ballerina into the air. I do that twice just to make sure. Alright, so we're actually going to get rid of this, Kimberly. Alright, dive kick. Bam, bam, right there. That's a dive kick. It's really efficient when you just want to get rid of just some projectiles. And off with the... There you go, the charging kick. Alright. Rating out of power coins, I give her definitely a nine. She is really great, really versatile, really flexible, I should say. Not flexible as like bending your body, but flexible as in usage. And I would definitely use her and upgrade her a little bit more when I get the shards. I just see I got 195 right now. And when I get that 200, I am definitely upgrading her because <sighs> she's great. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that review. The last review of the Mighty, of, not Mighty Morphin, of the movie is going to be Billy. Sadly, I have not unlocked Reedy yet, but when I do, she will definitely be added. So, I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.